Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Muriel, this is Nurse Muriel. To my new subscribers, hey, how y'all doing? Welcome to the channel. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. To my oldies but goodies, welcome back. So today, y'all, um, I don't, I'm not gonna say I don't have much planned, but I do plan on, um, I'm taking a friend out to eat today for brunch. We're supposed to meet at 1130. I still hadn't decided on the restaurant. It is now like 2, 1050. She said she was going to the gym at 10. I kind of want to try a different restaurant. But I've been looking some up and none of them like really appealing to me, y'all. For those of you who don't know, I'm trying to back on a weight loss journey, but I'm a little more quiet about it this time around because I failed so many times. <laughs> but I am going to post like a monthly video at the end of this month uh, with a compilation of the foods I ate and you know me weighing myself as the month go through and I'm going to post videos like that just once a month just to let y'all know because I hate to I mean I've been trying to do this for years y'all and I've failed every time but I'm not going to quit trying I'm, I'm going to keep trying I got close one time well not even close but I made it down to like 277 pounds and then I took that trip to Mexico and ever since then stayed on track but I'm trying again y'all so I'm trying to see what I lose this month as well as trying to see what I lose by my birthday if I can be down back down to like 277 by my birthday I'll be happy y'all not gonna lie I would like to get to 275 but if I can be down to 275 270 seven by my birthday i'll feel good at that time when i got in 277 people had already started noticing i was losing weight even though i was big girl i started at 290 at that point and i made it down to 277 and i didn't think people would notice but you know even my boyfriend was saying my stomach was feeling smaller my face well he said my face was slimming out people could see it and i was just amazed that a 13 pound weight loss on such a big girl as me that you can notice and so that kind of, you know, I felt good about that. So I, I can get back down to 277. Plus, y'all know, I'm trying to naturally lose this double chin. I will get surgery if I have to. I didn't know the time was going to go this fast. And I hadn't even, you know, I already picked where I want to get the surgery done. But I hadn't done a pre-consultation or anything. But I would really like to just be able to lose it without any surgical intervention. But yeah, so I'll post that video at the end of the month. So that's another thing, trying to pick where we're going to eat because really all I want to eat is a salad but yeah so I'm riding around now I don't really don't really know what to do another thing I plan to do is go look at some mobile homes y'all because I'm in that in that mode now where I know time is winding down I'm not on a time limit or anything it's kind of like a limit I give myself I want to buy a mobile home and I know um towards closer to the fall I'll be looking to put some money down on some land I don't want to do a land home package deal I want to get my land first and then I want to get the mobile home so yeah I, I kind of in my mind I kind of know where I want to start looking for land uh, in my last video I told y'all I went to get my nails done my cousin did my nails and where she lives I lived in that county for 30 something years but I never ventured into that part of the county and I like it there. I really do. It's really ducked off. It's quiet. It's what I need. It's what I want. It's what I need. And it's close enough to a town that has a Dollar General or Family Dollar right there. And then it's close to Somerville, South Carolina, too. It's like a 20-minute ride to Somerville, South Carolina. And Somerville has just about everything I need. So, um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna start looking for some land in that area. Uh, also, I'm going to... Um, I want to go look at this is a mobile homes give me some encouragement to do so and i'm kind of worried y'all because i'm not gonna lie i was late on my mortgage payment not late to where i was like it you know i was in any type of imminent imminent danger of foreclosure but i was late from being lazy from taking my money doing other things being irresponsible and i do have a late payment on my on my um house that i have now so i don't know how that will affect me with getting my mobile home because i know when i purchased my house they didn't want you to have any late payments on anything in fact for a full year you couldn't have any late payments on anything and then i was like dang so if, if that's the case i'm not gonna be able to even purchase my mobile home till next year <laughs> for it to be a year it might be um tmi but it's the truth it is what it is i was late i was y'all see me out here spending money and stuff and i i could have made the money and paid that payment i could have but i just told myself um 
it's just gonna have to be late this month and y'all that was the first late payment i had in the entire six years that i've been here and well it'll be six years in june and that was the first late payment i've had and and it was the month that i only got paid once when i started this new job it, it was february i got paid one time that month and i was late i wasn't prepared and i could have pulled the money out of my business account and definitely could have done that but i don't want to touch that money and i didn't want to touch it and then we, i didn't want to touch it i'm not touching i'm trying not to touch that money and so i took that hit for that late payment not thinking girl you want to buy a mobile home that may affect you when it's time to buy a mobile home they might be like you gotta have a year from that late payment but it is what it is if i go ahead and at least get the land i don't think that'll be they'll be that stringent with getting land if i go ahead and at least get the land then uh it'll put me in a mind frame where at least if i have to wait till february next year to get the mobile home i have already have the land and i'll know by february you know and probably by then prices of mobile homes will decrease but you know it's they're not as hard on getting a mobile home as it is on getting a house like your credit score don't even have to be anywhere it doesn't even have to be like i know people who got mobile homes with credit scores of like 520 you know what i'm saying but they have higher interest rates now don't get me wrong and i'm not going to the table with a 520 credit score my mobile home i'm not gonna lie to you i'm trying to go to the table with at least a 700 um and I know I can get that. I'm, I've learned how to work this credit thing. I've learned how to work it. All I got to do is repay all my credit cards down to a basically a zero balance of $15, $20 balance. And pay up some payments on my car payment. And my credit score will shoot up past the 700 Um, It's in the sixes now. Because, I, like I say, I ran up my credit cards and all that. And um, I had that late payment on my on my house. So it's in the sixes now. But I already, I know how to work that out, y'all. I just, just like I said, just pay off your credit card, pay off my credit cards, pay up a couple payments on my um, card and knock down that balance. My credit score shoot back up over 700. So I'm not even worried about it. I'm not going to be one of the ones to get on hand line and say I had a credit score 800. No, my credit score has, has not touched 800 yet, but it has been over 700. And then I'll get it back up there. So I'm not even worrying about it. Um, but yeah, so anyway but i just feel like going to look at some mobile homes and i want to see how the prices are now because the prices when i last looked like i said it was actually 139 on a basic four it was a five bedroom five bedroom three bath which i would still love to get that home but not for 139 thousand dollars i wasn't with it then when i looked and then i also plan to look in the low country because i don't live in the low country i live in the midlands and i know mobile home price mobile homes here are not zoned for low country and you have to pay up a few thousand dollars to get it to get the mobile home to where it can be zoned for um to be placed in the low country because the low country is more hurricane prone and so i said well i'm just gonna go look in the low country then because those homes are already zoned for that area and i won't have to worry about paying no thousands of dollars to get an upgrade i know people call it manifestation is i'm not gonna say it's manifesting anything because it's not just coming poof out of the sky and i'm not just making it happen by saying that i'm actually gonna put in the work to get um the things that i want but going looking at it and getting that feel and stuff like that again i think that will motivate me to get on the ball with paying some stuff off because like instead of all these dd trips that i'm taking and all the heat and all this i could have been putting that money towards my credit cards to pay them down even faster i know this i know this i know i know this y'all i know this but i do have a plan i have a prn job that always come in clutch i worked there yesterday and I plan to pick up another shift. Like, if it come down to it, well, I got to work two shifts at my PR in a week to get the job done, plus keep my full time, it is what, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it because I want what I want and I'm going to get it. And I never want anything that's, you know, too extreme, but I want what I want and I'm going to get it. And that's how I've, I've always been in life. Like I said, the only battle that I had that I can't, haven't been able to overcome is this weight. So, yeah, I'm just checking in. Um, for that I know I said I was gonna do this video is gonna be uncommon occurrences and long-term care but I haven't really sat down and thought about haven't really sat down and thought about um, some occurrences like even I, I had one yesterday though I had one yesterday I ain't gonna say too much because of HIPAA but what I will say is when you have a patient who's being discharged whether it be AMA or discharge please make sure all venous access is 
taken out, okay? Make sure your patient doesn't leave your facility with IVs intact, with midlines intact, with pick lines intact, please, okay? Because, yes, that happened yesterday. All right, y'all, I'm out of DDs, y'all. Just made me a little quick little one, two, one, two, y'all. Nothing, nothing too much. I just had like 20 minutes to spare. And um, I couldn't decide on the restaurant, so my homegirl, y'all, I can't stop. It wasn't showing when I left the house. I promise you I had it better. My homegirl just said Red Lobster because I couldn't figure out. Um, I couldn't think of anywhere. So I'll probably get the. Oh, this salmon was a good to me. This salmon. Oh, I didn't like it. But y'all, I bought these little fuzzy slippers here. $9.99 because, y'all, I wear flip-flops and sandals and slides and stuff in my house. And I, have, I don't have a problem with it, y'all, but. I don't take those things when I go to my guy's house and I normally end up putting his slides on <laughs> y'all his feet are like that long and my feet be hang I mean my feet are too small for his slides I normally throw on his slides when I'm in his house y'all so I said let me get me some little slides I can wear around my house and his house then I found these y'all in silver I have them in red but I found them in silver and I said yes definitely getting I don't have a pair of silver shoes y'all already know how I go with the shoes on two shirts you know, he has jeans, but I be like, you know, he got jeans and they all just different, different versions of denim. And then he has black and he has white and he has gray and then he has a pair of khaki. And I was like, I'm not going to keep buying just jeans. Let me mix up the shirt. So that's why I come here and I just get him nice little affordable shirts. And this is a cute one. I thought this shirt was so cute. And it was $8.99. And this is another one. It's not, you know, it's just a basic tee. It was $5.99. Because y'all, my son, for those who are new to this channel, my son's autistic. And one of the things that he does is tear up a lot of things. And he will just actually go through and just tear up his jeans. Like tear, break the zipper on his jeans. And it don't matter if I spend $30 on the jeans or $9.99. He's going to tear the zipper. He gonna tear, he's going to tear the zipper. He tore some zippers. I bought, I bought him. I went to Old Navy um, one year to get him some school clothes. And the jeans were $25 a piece $25.99 he tore every last zip on those jeans you want to talk about somebody who wanted to cry I don't even spend $25 on my jeans I'm, I'm if you're new to the channel honey I, I shop when they say frugal and very affordable that's what I do DD's is my store okay just about everything I put on every day comes out of DD's this whole outfit I have on today came out of DD's from the earrings to the shirt to the pants to the to the sandals it's DD's all day for me um and I don't do much. I don't really go much of anywhere. Oh, now they show y'all the earrings. So anyway, that's why I come. I shop for DDs for him because it don't matter how much I spend. He's going to tear the clothes up. And there's no way for me to prevent it from happening because he just does it. Um, I saw these earrings, y'all. I thought these were so cute. $5.99. If y'all don't know, I'm getting ready for the summer. Because <laughs> your girl last summer did two days a week at work. And she enjoyed her life during the summer. And I'm doing the same thing this summer. I'm dropping down to part-time at my job. I'm going to work two days a week. And I'm going to enjoy my life this summer. And, um, you know, I may every now and then pick up a shift. PRN at my PRN job. And it may be a six-hour shift. It may be an eight-hour shift. It might be a 12. It might be day shift. It might be night shift. It's like that. But my full-time job, I'm dropping to two days a week. And I'm going to be part-time. And I'm going to enjoy my life. Got a Texas Rojas office with three. You know, I got a two-notch ankle. Oh, it's still work. Once a month, so. Oh, let me try to get home. Video. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hi, what up? We're going to look at some trailers, but we're just leaving the restaurant. It's 1 o'clock. All right, y'all. I just walked in this one, and this is what I'm talking about with a bathroom. Look at there. Got the Jack and Jill sink. Nice cabinets. And we have more cabinets, double cabinets, more, more cabinet space. Then we have a tub, beautiful, more cabinet space, three. Then we have a closet, but y'all look, beautiful tub, love it, in clothes, love it. But we also have a shower that you could sit down. Yes, I'm loving this. So far, the bathroom. I'm loving, not loving the price though. It's $125, y'all. Y'all know I said I can't do 
more than 100. <laughs> and once you add on the setup, delivery, and all that, you might as well add on an extra $20,000. So I like this one. I like the stove, the hood over the stove. Look at this. I like this. I like this piece over the island. Laundry hookup. More space. Back door to the laundry room. I like this. Okay, let's walk on through. That's a little area for you to put a dinette set. The bedrooms always are small in a mobile home, but you know, I can still work with that because now this is actually a big bedroom. This is, no, this I think is a sitting area. It doesn't have, so this is a den. This would be the den. It doesn't have a door. So yes, this would be the den. Another bathroom. This is the second bath. Um, nice, just for my child, you know. It's another bedroom. Closet space is small, always is small, but so this is a three bedroom, two bath. This is nice. Yeah, I like this. Well, this one's 125. The master bedroom isn't that big, yo. Uh, the living room isn't that big either. Uh, master bed isn't that big, but it's big enough. And I love that there's no carpet. I'm gonna show y'all this one, but I already know. Thanks. Cabinet space. Look at this standalone tub, y'all. That alone, I already know it's out of my price range. Look at the shower. Yes. Sit along the toilet. Uh, I guess this would be somewhere you put your towels and you know the different things you need for your bathroom. Maybe that could be a space for a beauty room. Um, I couldn't even fit in this tub though. It's cute, but and what grown person fitting in? I mean, I guess you had to be real short. I mean, I probably couldn't even get up out of that, but it's nice. Me and my guy, we some heavy hitters. Um, go around. The living room is huge. The living room is huge, y'all. Look at this kitchen. Look at this island. Um. It's nice. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna ask him the price just to know it, but I know I den area bedroom. Pretty spacious. What is this? Is this a bedroom? No, this is a laundry room. A walk-in laundry room. I'm sure this is the door to outside. Yeah, I see light coming through. That's the outside. You're supposed to come in these things and be blown away like, oh my goodness, but I already know the price, so I'm not even gonna get excited. It's probably in the twos, y'all. Real nice. So this is a four bedroom. I wasn't even recording y'all. So let me tell y'all real quick because I need to leave. So their prices include the HVAC unit, the skirting, um, the plumbing, all that. Everything is included. Setup, delivery and all. This is the most affordable one. It's a four bedroom, two bath. It's only 110 y'all. I say only because that's good. That includes everything. Now I would like for that price to come down a little more. I ain't gonna lie. If it could come down 10,000, I'd be happy. But he's saying being this will be a second home purchase, I would need to, they're probably going to want 15 to 20% down, depending on my credit score. So I'm going to show y'all seeing this for the first time, and I'm not even going to look at another one because 
110 is right where I want, you know, that's like, I didn't want to go over 100, but I can do 110 because that includes everything. You walk in, y'all, this is the living room. It's not that big, not that big at all. It's doable, it's not that big. Um, this is a simple trailer. It's nothing like hurrah, hurrah about it. Um, I'm gonna say that because of the price. I hadn't looked at it, but I like the flooring already. This is the master bedroom. Not a real, not, oh, please have Jack and Jill sinks. <sighs> y'all, it got Jack and Jill sinks. Yes, it has the Jack and Jill sinks. Oh my goodness, okay. I see a tub, tub with a shower. Now I would have liked the standalone shower, but 110, you know, beggars can't be choosy. I just have to climb my behind it. It is what it is. As long as it has this, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. I can do, of course, I will take this mirror down and I will put two separate mirrors up. I don't want that mirror, but I will put two separate mirrors, one over the jack, one over each sink. Um, like I said, this is 110, so I know this is gonna be a real basic model, but okay here's the kitchen black stove refrigerator i will have them take that out i would also have them take the stove out i don't want eyes on my stove y'all know my son so they will have to take that stove out as well um so that should lower the price uh like i said it's basic but basic is fine with me yeah now i don't like that when you walk in you see the kitchen but that's how these mobile homes are made these older ones like this I like how they have this, like a den instead of a uh, um, table. I would probably do this. I would probably do this to have a den. Um, and a dining set. I'll just put some bar stools up at the, the island, y'all. Okay, let's look in here. Bedrooms, you know, simple bedrooms, nothing. I don't even need to look at the closet because I know they small. But y'all, my house was basic when I bought it. Uh, nothing spectacular. Not spectacular. It's a basic model. The rooms are tiny, Lord Jesus. But I, it would just be me, maybe heaven and Rez. The other children won't be coming along with me. Um, I'm leaving them that four bedroom, two and a half bath. I like this, y'all. Night. I like this. This could work for me. This could definitely work for me. Um, I probably would replace this island. I don't know. It's here. I might as well keep it. But I definitely would tell them to keep the stove in the refrigerator and actually knock some of the price down. Because I'll buy, like I said, I would want a stove with the flat surfaces and I want a refrigerator or ice maker. Um, both of those things I will be purchasing prior to getting my home. Everything I will have, my furniture and all that, I will have before I move in. Oh, yeah. This could work. And at 110 my mortgage will probably be around eight hundred dollars i'm gonna go look at the other one that's 123 probably won't get this unless the price goes down but we're gonna look anyway much bigger living room much much bigger uh let's go in the bathroom because i'm a bathroom girl i need to see what the bathroom looking like okay room is bigger not that much bigger though floors is cute same same bathroom okay same bathroom. I'm going to need to see what the extra 13K is for, y'all. Same bathroom. Same mirror. All this is the same except different cabinets. Yeah, I'm going to need to know why this one is 123. Maybe the furniture? It is bigger though, it is bigger. The furniture is cute. I wouldn't even have all this in my den. Um, 13,000 dollars more and it doesn't offer anything more really. Yeah, mm -mm. I'll stick with the one the 110 much smaller closet but for both for both of my kids this would be like a second bedroom because they have a bedroom in my other house so yeah not much nothing more to this one the island is the same the stove is the same i would have them take the stove and the um, refrigerator out because they don't have an ice maker on there and it's not the flat surface so i would be getting rid of both those things both of these are doable 
Okay, y'all. He told me 15 to 20% down on the one that's 110. That's like $15,000. I can do that. <laughs> I can do that. Then the land, the land, I would say I'll probably have to put like $5,000 down maybe. I'll look into it. But yeah, so I, that's it, y'all. Just wanted to show y'all these mobile homes. Okay, y'all. So I don't think I'm going to find anything more affordable than 110. I don't, you know, I want to count myself out. There may be some out there for like 90. I do like that one for 110. And one thing about them is they give you the price with everything included. So that 110 for the one I showed y'all, it was, um, that includes the skirting, that includes the, uh, that includes the skirting, that includes the, um, the HVAC unit, that includes the delivery, the setup, that includes everything, y'all. So that mobile home was probably closer to like 85. And with that, all the setup, it's 110. Um, I like I like it. It's simple. It's not as big, but it's simple and it's cute and I can make it do what it do. I'm not out here trying to get a grand old, big old, because let me tell you, I know people who can build things. You know, I know people who build banks and build houses and build things. My youngest son's grandfather, he does those things and his son know how to do those things as well. He taught his son, his son can build a house from the ground up. And I know people that if I pay for the supplies, they can build me an extra room if need be, you know? So, and I also plan to look around for pricing on brick skirting because I want to get my um, foundation bricked in, but I'm gonna check into those things. And yeah, yeah, I think I found my trailer. <laughs> I think I found it. That that price is. Y'all know I just came from Red Lobster. I am thirsty. It's hot out there walking in that sun. But I'm heading back home, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. I'm gonna go back and look at some of the videos of those trailers again myself. Cause I'm 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 happy. I'm excited. I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.